Previously on TV Sins. Dad? Billy. <laughs> oh, Billy. <laughs> I hate complicated court hearings for the same reason I hate old TV shows, the constant sidebars. This classroom sure does have a lot of creepy paraphernalia by the window for your typical high school. Who teaches this class? Dr. Francis Neil Stein? Do you go to school here? I used to. Sunnydale is a small town with only one high school, so where does he go to school? And where exactly is Darla pretending that she goes to school? I, I don't want to go up there. Oh, you can't wait, huh? First, read the room, buddy. Second, does this mean they broke into the school for this extracurricular activity? There aren't any better places in Sunnydale for teens to indulge their hormone monsters than the roof of the school. Hello? There's nobody here. This character is so obviously the horn douche dude teen stereotype for the episode that they might as well have painted Lamb to the Slaughter on the back of his totally banging leather jacket. You can always tell it's a Hollywood vampire when they pause for a couple of seconds before attacking to make sure the audience gets a good look at him. Also, love the twist of Darla being the vampire instead of the god. But what the f did she care if anyone was there? Wouldn't that have just been more food for her? Jeez, with this blaring 90s rock behind these epilepsy-inducing jump cuts, I'm actually surprised anyone put up with this show long enough to know it was any good. Nicholas Brendan. Wow, when you can pull children of the Corn 3 Urban Harvest level talent, you know something special is about to go down. Is this room that she's trying to sleep in my college roommate? Because it is hella lit for a morning when classes haven't even started yet. Nightmare's position shadowing? Don't want to be late for your first day. You just moved to town and it's your first day at a new school cliche. Well, I certainly don't blame anyone for being distracted by some stellar Geller. I wouldn't even have to go to physics class to know that if this is his POV, he should have hit this handrail long before it can cut back to him for a few seconds and then back to her again. Also, when he actually takes the dive, she isn't anywhere to be seen. Willow, you're so very much the person I wanted to see. Casual upskirting. Do you have serious intrigue? You should check it out. Wouldn't that be their textbook? Why would they have to check anything out? Couldn't come up with any better way to get Xander in the library later to learn Buffy's secret? Hey, Jesse, what's what? New girl. That's right, I saw her. Pretty much a hottie. Yes, people used to talk like this, and yes, even wear shirts that color. But what they didn't do is somehow have the entire school immediately know in a school this size that there was a new student at the top of their gossip priority list. Also, Jesse is such a good friend to Xander and Willow, and has such potential to be comic relief and a helpful aid to Buffy for many seasons to come. Good thing he's not going anywhere. We're not interested in what it says on a piece of paper, even if it says... So wait, are we supposed to believe that he didn't read her transcript before putting on this clean slate charade? Even if he was planning on tearing it up to make a point, he'd at least have already skimmed it, right? It wasn't that bad. You burned down the gym. Show winks at the movie that preceded it, even though no one saw it, and this wink is wasted. I mean, that gym was full of vampire... Asbestos. Terrible save, Buffy. Not a chance Flutie didn't know you were about to say vampires. Please get your sitcom shenanigans out of my teenage vampire action show. Hey, you forgot your steak. Oh, you mean the one thing that would hint at the secret she's trying to keep from people? The very item that she would probably most care about you not finding? And also the item in her bag that is the largest and hardest to miss? That steak? Also, since we find out shortly that Buffy has zero interest in continuing the Slayer tradition, why does she even have a steak in her purse at all? Why are they sitting so close together? And this popular plague led to what social changes? Steve? I swear teachers in TV shows are either completely irresponsible with time management or don't know how to read a clock. Get your teacher sh done before the bell rings. The class ends at the same time every day. James Spader. He needs to call me. Is there anything more 90s than the version of James Spader that is a teenage pinup? I'm not saying he wasn't good in Pretty in Pink. I'm just saying that most high school girls today aren't dying to get hit up by Raymond, voice of Ultron, Reddington. John Tesh, the devil. And yet some things never change. Is anybody here? Good point, Buffster. Why isn't anyone manning the library in the middle of a school day? As if you didn't convenience us enough with this newspaper sitting here, just so. You didn't trust us to read what it said without a red circle around it. The only thing I can think is that you're building a really little fence. Sander would suck at the props game on whose line and also fence making. I don't mean to interrupt your downward mobility. Cordelia is a terrible person, but she's maybe the greatest terrible person on a TV show in possibly ever. So that's something, I guess. Jim was canceled due to the extreme dead guy in the locker. Just Jim? I'm pretty sure corpse location is a decent enough reason to maybe send everyone home for the day. No? You know. What, with the dead guy and all? You know, if you need a shoulder to cry on, or just to nibble on. <laughs> Who's doing what to who now? Isn't that bizarre? Aren't you just going, ooh? Buffy is so freaking adorable in this show that even my cold black heart might have grown three sizes watching this. At least, I think it was my heart. It's my first day. I was afraid that I was going to be behind in all my classes. I was a professional procrastinator in high school for sure, but even I never managed to figure out how to be behind in a class on the very first day. To make you a vampire, they have to suck your blood. And then you have to suck their blood. 
It's like a whole big sucking thing. This line gave us so many sin ideas, we decided to go multiple choice and let you decide. Fun fact, whole big sucking thing is also A, the name of my new grunge tribute band, B, the original title for this episode, C, Warner Brothers in-house title for the DCEU, D, the nickname I tried to get my college girlfriend to call me, and shouldn't Timid Whistler already know all this? Isn't it the Watcher's job to teach the Slayers these things? The chosen one, one born with a strength, strength and skill to hunt the vampires. It's a cool legend and all, but why is there only one Slayer? Sunnydale can't be the only place that has vampires and monsters. We know LA had them, and that place wherever Lost Boys happen. Also, what do all the other Watchers do if there's only one Slayer at a time? Yeah, and I've both been there and done that, and I'm moving on. I'm not 100% sure that been there, done that was already a played out phrase when this came out, but I am sure my mind just collapsed in on itself while pondering the irony of its overuse and how many people have indeed been there and or done that. Do you like Santa Away for the Time Life series? Uh, yes. Did you get the free phone? Um, the calendar. And there is the inherent risk of Whedonizing. The constant pop culture references are bound to age poorly in a world where the Time Life series, the phone, and the calendar are now all located on the same thing. Some of these lines aren't just dated, they're carbon dated. What? Giles didn't know a student was in there? Looks like he sucks at both of his jobs. Something is, is gonna happen here. Soon. Gee, can you bake that up for me? Buffy would be totally rad at TV sense. Hi. I'm an enormous slut. Buffy the slut shamer. Good thing this alley contains one of those oh-so-common human weight-supporting horizontal bars that the kids are always raving about these days. I know what you're thinking. Don't worry. I don't bite. Spoiler alert, he totally does as both a character and an actor. The truth is, I thought you'd be taller. Or bigger muscles and all that. No, truth is that if this were real life, you would already be telling her exactly who you are instead of engaging in this cloak and dagger bullshit. Who are you? Let's just say I'm a friend. King pronoun games and subterfuge. There is zero reason Angel couldn't tell Buffy exactly what the lowdown is, other than TV shows got a TV show. Even though Sprung Monkey was never a huge band, they still were successful enough to not have to resort to all ages clubs in Nowheresville, California. Also, even though you can't hear the music, trust us that there is no way this band is singing the same song we are hearing. Among many other clues, he isn't even holding the microphone up to his mouth during the singing, even in the close-ups. Do better, the 90s. Oh no. Isn't that Willow? Sucks that's Willow, but if it was anyone else, would she not have saved her? Did someone stake out your heart, Buffy? Luke. Yes. Bring me something young. Hey, Joss, I'm not sure Discount Voldemort here is creepy enough. Oh, don't you worry. I've got a line that I'm pretty sure will do the trick. He gave me a hickey. I got hunger in the way. I know we're supposed to think Jesse the idiot lechura here is a dunce and all, but I'm pretty sure that even he could tell the difference between a vampire bite and a hickey. Well, this is nice. So when Buffy asks Xander, Where would Willow go? Are we to believe Xander said this exact f***ing cemetery? F***ing jump scares. Vampires suck. <laughs> Call Stallone, cause we've got a cliffhanger. Here's an idea, television. How about just giving us something we like so much we can't wait to come back for the next one? Instead of, you know, toying with our fragile hearts. Would you prefer a nature metaphor or a sexual metaphor? Hello? Hello! Rip it out! Rip. Be gone, J. Evans Pritchard, PhD! The school cut you from the team? What are you? Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. I, I don't actually date a whole lot lately. Why not? Well, this one time at band camp? Reach out with your mind. You have to hone your senses. Stretch out with your feelings. Pin on your uniform! 